Naam, karibu tena mpenzi mtazamaji. Welcome back. Jafeta Hulia, Star Times, The Legend himself, Rotha Matias, Robin Toskin. Naam. And maybe I should start with the Lotha Matias, yeah? Yeah. Uh, guys are wondering, I mean, do you have a hint? Because the, the someone who's brought here Real Madrid, you never played for Real Madrid? Never, Never. I, I had an offer from Real Madrid uh, 91, but the uh, owner and the president from Inter Milan, where I played in this time, didn't give me to go, and for this I never played for Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. So of course it's not Real Madrid? No, it's not Real Madrid. And it was in the Bundesliga? It was a Bundesliga, Bundesliga game. Bundesliga, Real Madrid. It was a Bundesliga game, and I scored only one time three goals. Mm -hmm. And I will help you a little bit because maybe it's too difficult. The social media is not working well. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I will analyze this team tonight. Wow. Asa. Ah. Oh oh. you, know, you, know, you know, he asks uh, tough questions. And uh, when Diego Maradona was asked, uh, which is the, uh, one of the fiercest players you've ever come up against, and he said, it's slaughter. And I'm not surprised that he's asking difficult questions and hard ones because he was because a tough guy. Because when you guy. get so good present, you have to do something yeah. to get this present. <laughs> it's a, a shirt from Wolfsburg where he's yeah. playing Origi. Yeah. Yes. And signed from all the players. Wow. Original jersey. Original from signature Wolfsburg. from all the professional players from VfL Wolfsburg. Wow. But included the coach, mm -hmm. but the coach is not anymore the coach from uh, Wolfsburg because yeah. they fire him yesterday. <laughs> they kick him out. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Lothar, yeah. some of us grew up uh, watching the Bundesliga. Then we knew it as a uh, football made in Germany during mm -hmm. your years. I, I don't yes. know. When? Let's talk a bit about the youth uh, structure, the youth program in your country. I mean, uh, I mean, how do you do it? How do you manage it? Okay, when, when it's not working well, you have to change something. And mm. end of the 90s, the German national team didn't have any more the young talents. We didn't have any more the results in the World Cups. We was going out two times in the quarterfinal, 94 against Bulgaria, 98 against Croatia. And then we were talking, what we have to do. We saw the another country, what they are doing, mm. and they start to build better the young players. Mm with academies, and then we start the same. We build our academies, we give to the academies uh, professional coaches for the youth teams. And uh, in this way, we was going uh, the right direction mm -hmm. because we find so many good, young, talented players, mm -hmm. and then we use them later. For the youth national team, we have better results in the youth national team, and now, they're playing in the national team, and uh, we come back with the World Cup three years. We won the World Cup three years ago. Mm -hmm. Now, three months ago, we won the Confederations Cup mm -hmm. uh, against Cameroon, Mexico, with not with the first team, with many players who didn't get a chance before to play in the national team. Mm -hmm. But the coach was using this Confederation mm -hmm. Cup to give the players who were sec always in the second row the chance to show, mm -hmm. and they show very well. Actually, when he mentions that, uh, someone would wonder that is it the, the, the German FA, the DFB, that does the, the, the youth development programs, or it is the individual clubs? It's a program from the German Football Federation, but together with the clubs. They cannot work, each club cannot work in the same way. They have different kind of coaches, they have different players, but generally, it's a similar way. Mm -hmm. Because here in Kenya, any time we ask uh, about those development programs to clubs, they say we don't have the money, we don't have the facilities, and therefore they no, wait. Yeah. Is it the, the money, does it come from the DFB? No. Or when the, prof get... the professional clubs in Germany, yeah. they have to invest a part of the income in the academy. Uh -huh. This means higher budget, more investment in the academy. Hmm. And each club, depending on the budget, has to build out the players. More budget, more players. Smaller budget, less players. Mm -hmm. and, and we really follow the Bundesliga clearly here in Kenya. I, I don't know, um, some people say, you know, there's only one team, it's small, less our one horse race, Bayern Munich, and once in a while maybe Borussia Dortmund, I mean, uh, during your times, how is it? And uh, has it, why, uh, did it change over the years? But this is like in Spain with Barcelona and Real Madrid. Oh, and Real Madrid. Is, uh, yes. Like in Germany now with Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich. Mm -hmm. And RB Leipzig is coming very well. They had a lot of young players. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, they built a club. Mm -hmm. 
in the seventh division they start and now they play Champions League mm -hmm. because they was working very well they was really invest in the right way mm -hmm. the money for young players and the young player get good money in this time but they was looking RB Leipzig was looking for the future. They like to go in the future with the player. For example, player who is playing now Champions League start to play for RB Leipzig five years ago in the fourth division, and now he was coming up with the team with the same coach and the director in the first division and play Champions League. Last week they played against AS Monaco, who was playing last year in the Champions League uh, in the semi final. They lost against uh, Juventus Turin, mm -hmm. the semi final. And uh, this is uh, another way. Uh, no long history, but good investment in the right way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I've had the opportunity to watch uh, matches in uh, some of those German stadiums, uh, Commerce Bank at Frankfurt, Veltins Arena, Schalke, and uh, of course, uh, Allianz Arena. And the atmosphere is just wonderful. Uh, the, the stadiums are packed. I don't know, what are the Germans getting right, and how are you ensuring that the fans come to the stadium? Look, first, uh, the facilities are important, and we had the World Cup 12 years ago. 2006 was the World Cup in Germany. Mm -hmm. And in this moment, we can build new stadium. Mm -hmm. And we were not using the stadium only for the World Cup, like South Africa. We were using later the stadium with the clubs in the Bundesliga. Comfortable, safe, close to the, close to the spectators, <laughs> good service. They can buy the drinks, they can buy the food, uh, they can go in short ways to the restroom, no long waiting. Everything is important. Good, uh, good end ranch, uh, good connection with the highways, everything was going well. And sure, the football in Germany is uh, it's, uh, really interest for everybody. Sure. And the same, the people in the stadium feel safe. They can go to the uh -huh. stadium with their family, with their children, and don't have to be afraid something can happen. You know, we have a little bit crazy fans, but everything is under control. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe before you ask him another question, you scored some of the best goals yeah. in, in the Bundesliga. I don't know. Um, maybe you uh, could uh, watch some of the goals scored by Lothar Matthias. <laughs> 